So let's begin in Paris. A French court has ruled that Lamine Diak, the man who ran World Athletics for 16 years, is corrupt. He's been given a four-year prison sentence. Here he is entering court today. He was found guilty of accepting bribes from Russian athletes who were suspected of doping. He took money to help cover up positive test results, allowing these athletes to keep competing. And remember, this is the guy in charge of the entire sport. Here's our sports reporter, Alex Capstick. I mean, this man was a powerful figure in global sport, not just in athletics, where he was president between 1999 and 2015, but also in the IOC, where he was a senior member. Uh, people looked up to him. He led athletics. You could say, or some would say, it was a golden era because it contained Usain Bolt, of course, who's now retired from the sport. But underneath there was the stench of corruption, as we've heard, and as was found in a French court today because he was accepting money from Russian athletes who shouldn't have been competing. Well, Lamine Diak says he's going to appeal. He's admitted to covering up doping, but he insists he was doing it to protect the image of the sport, not to make money. The French court disagreed. It found he took payments totaling three and a half billion euros. That's around four million US dollars. In return, he agreed to stop or slow down the sanctioning of Russian athletes. That allowed 23 drug cheats to compete in the 2012 Olympics in London and the World Athletics Championships in Moscow the following year. And just think of the impact of that. Hundreds of athletes losing out to people who shouldn't have been there. This was one of those rival athletes outside court today. You can't see the smile on my face with the mask I'm wearing, but I'm very happy to have been recognised as a victim of the corruption by the IAAF leaders. And I'm also happy for all the athletes who were. We need to continue the fight against doping, and to have been recognised is important for us. Well, five co-defendants were also convicted in Paris today. They include this man, Papa Masata Diak, Lamine Diak's son, he was sentenced to five years for corruption, although he was tried in absentia after Senegal refused to extradite him. It's also worth remembering that while the top man in the sport was accepting bribes, Russia was also carrying out a state-sponsored doping program that covered the vast majority of Olympic sports. And that's why Russia is currently serving a four-year ban from the Olympics and the Football World Cup. Well, the Times sports writer Rick Broadbent perhaps summed up a lot of people's feelings earlier. He tweeted, I once asked the British runner Lisa Dabrisky what was worse, Lamine Diak covering up positive tests for cash or Russia's state-sponsored doping. Her answer, the president. It's a betrayal. Here's Alex Capstick again. So not a great day for the sport. And World Athletics, which is now run by Sebastian Coe, they've been trying to pick up the pieces from this and they have been awarded damages of $16 million to be paid by all six defendants. That's a combined amount. Five million from Lamine Giac, five million uh, from his son Papa Masata, the rest divided between the other four. Um, and they've been trying to rebuild the reputation of athletics. But because of that scandal, because of the court case, the allegations, they lost big time sponsors. They lost money. And that's why they've been struggling since then. They've, they've made some of it back, but of course, COVID hasn't helped them. Uh, but that's why they were so interested in this case. And that's why they've got this $16 million, which they say they're going to do their best to recover. And Alex, help me understand the scale of this conspiracy. We have the man at the top involved in it. But to what degree did this involve many others within the organisation? Yes, it was uh, Lamine Diak. He was the figurehead, but it also involved, as you were mentioning, his son, uh, Papa Masata Diak, who was also a marketing executive, so not only was he getting money from Russian athletes, but he was also creaming millions of dollars off contracts, deals he was doing uh, with sponsors and other interested parties in the IAAF. But the other men that were uh, found guilty in this case, all senior athletics officials, Gabriel Dolly, he was head of anti-doping at the IAAF under uh, Lamine Diak, uh, and a couple of Russians, uh, Valentin Baletnichev, he was the head of Russian athletics. He was also the treasurer of the IAAF. He was involved in taking the money from the athletes and giving it to Lamine Diak. And also Alexei Melnikov, who is a leading uh, Russian athletics coach. Uh, he was also involved in taking money from those athletes. I should say that both Belechnichev, um, uh, Melnikov and uh, Papa Masata Diak, they have been banned for life from athletics.